Hello, my name is Simon Schur, and welcome to my bar drill tutorial. It's very important before you start this uh, tutorial on the bar drills that you're familiar with the front kick, the round kick, the side kick, and the hook kick. It's also important that you've watched my foot articulation tutorial. So please go back and watch those if you haven't yet done so, because I draw on some information from those tutorials in this one. One of the hardest things to do in Taekwondo is to really develop a control, even, balanced kick that you're in total control of. One of the best ways to achieve this is through a drill I call the bar drill. The bar drill is a great drill that you can use to train every single one of your kicks. As you get more advanced, the bar drill is a good way to uh, develop your ability to smoothly transition between kicks. It's a good way to incorporate uh, foot articulation. It's a great way to develop coordination between your foot and your hand so you can punch and block at the same time as you're kicking. To begin the bar drill, you will need a bar, but you can also use the back of a chair. Stand next to your bar and lay your hand gently on it. You're going to pick up the outside leg. The standing leg should always be flat. You never want to go on your tiptoes. Pick up the standing leg and chamber for a kick position. Hold the leg there and slowly count to 10. Do this on both legs. Try this again, letting go of the bar. Find your center, your most balanced position. Let go of the bar and hold your body there. Count to 10 and do the other side. I like to tell my students, perform 10 front kicks, holding onto the bar, two times on each leg. Then do the same thing with round kicks, side kicks, and hook kicks. Using the bar is a great way to practice your pivots. Putting the weight on the ball of your foot and rotating the heel from non-pivoted to pivoted position. And it's a great drill. You can pick your foot up in front kick position, pivot your foot while holding onto the bar, and see how your foot changes into a round kick position. Then unpivot back to a front kick position, repivot to a round kick position. Feel the way that your hips turn and adjust uh, to perform different uh, types of kicks. Now you can try the kicks on different levels. Try throwing five of each kick on each of the levels. Five low front kicks, five midsection front kicks, five high section front kicks. Pivot to a round kick position. Five low, five middle, five high. Side kick, five low, middle, high. Hook kick, five low, middle, high. Then you could change it up if you wanted to. You could do uh, three low, middle, high, then three high, middle, low. Then round kick, same thing. Now perform each kick in succession with all the foot articulations that I've talked about before. Perform a pointed front kick, a ball of foot front kick, a flex front kick. Pivot on the ball of your foot to a round kick position. Pointed round kick, flex round kick. Pointed round kick, flex round kick. Pull your knee into your chest. Perform a heel side kick, a knife edge side kick, a ball of the foot side kick. Chamber for your hook kick, throw a heel hook kick, and then throw a pointed foot hook kick. Then switch to the other side and do the same thing on the other side, then switch again and switch again. You can combine all the different kicks and all the different articulations into an infinite number of combinations that uh, you can practice to help train your uh, recall and coordination. Once you've got all the kicks down holding onto the bar and you're familiar with the different articulations and you feel coordinated, you can add in the levels. You can do low section, mid section, and high section of each kick. You can do a low section front kick pointed, mid section ball of the foot, high section heel. Pointed flex, point kick, uh, Low section pointed round kick, mid section flex round kick, high section uh, pointed round kick, high section flex round kick, mid section pointed round kick, low section flexed round kick. Then pull your knee in, do a low section heel side kick, mid section knife, and then high section ball, then high section heel, mid section knife, and low section ball. And you can do the same thing with the hook kick. Low section point, mid section flex, high section point, high section flex, mid section point, low section flex. And then do the other side. You can add your blocks into each kick. You can do a front kick with an in-out, down-up, a round kick with an in-out, down-up, a side kick with an in-out, down-up, a hook kick with an in-out, down-up. You can combine in-out, down-up with a jab. You can do a low section jab, mid-section in-out, down-up, high section jab. You can do this with a front kick, a round kick, a side kick, and a hook kick. Low section jab, mid-section in-out, down-up, high section jab. And you can change it up in whatever way you feel like. Once you get comfortable and you've got these techniques down, you could slide away from and back to the bar to work on your sliding kicks and fading kicks. You could do a front kick, a slide away from the bar front kick, and then a slide back to the bar front kick. Pivot on the ball of your foot to a round kick position, slide away from the bar round kick, slide back round kick. Pull in for a side kick, slide away side kick, slide back side kick. Hook kick, slide away, hook kick, slide back. Do the same thing on both sides. There's full range of motion kicks, and then there's half kicks or demi kicks. 
So performing a full range of motion front kick is a full bend, a full straighten, and a full bend. Now you could add half kicks in between the full kicks. You do a full bend front kick, bend, straighten all the way, then bend halfway, straighten all the way, then bend all the way again. Then you do a round kick, bend all the way, straighten all the way, bend halfway, straighten all the way, bend all the way. Pull your knee in for a side kick. Extend all the way, pull back halfway, extend all the way, pull back halfway, and do the same with a hook kick. Extend all the way, pull back halfway, extend all the way, pull back all the way. Practicing demi kicks will give you uh, another utilization of your kick, so you can adapt your kicks more readily to sparring circumstances. Now after you've practiced all of these kicks at medium to slow speed, working on your balance, your core, your centering. You can use the bar to stretch as well. You can go into front kick position, extend your front kick, and then put your foot on top of the bar. Pull yourself forward on your leg and stretch out your hamstring and calves. You can do this in all three positions with pointed ball and flexed foot. Now sit up, hold onto the bar, lift your leg off the bar, hold it for five seconds. Now let go of the bar for another five seconds then hold on to the bar and lower your leg again. You could do this in all three positions, point, ball, and flex. Go into round kick position and set your foot on the bar. Reach your back hand over the top, stretch your side out toward your kicking leg. Now, in both point and flex, pick your leg off the bar, hold it for five seconds, let go of the bar, hold for five seconds, grab the bar, and put your foot back down. Do this in side kick position as well. You can practice your spinning kicks through your pivots as well. If you make a fighting stance next to the bar with your lead hand holding onto the bar, pick up your back leg, pivot on the ball of your foot so that your foot lands in the correct pivoted position, fully chamber your side kick, extend, pull back, and then unpivot on the ball of the foot. A lot of people get sloppy in their spinning kicks and they lose control and uh, they can't go back the way they came or to do so they have to go much more slowly. Using the bar, uh, you can dismiss your fear of losing your balance and really work, it, work on developing the position, control, and core strength to throw the kick correctly. Another great thing you can do with the bar, uh, once you develop the control with the other drills, is to develop speed. I utilize the bar and a metronome. I set it to 200 beats per minute, set a timer for 30 seconds, and try to kick on every beat for 30 seconds. So I'll end up doing... Uh, 200 kicks, or 100 kicks in 30 seconds. Then I'll pivot into a round kick position, do the same thing. 200 beats per minute for 30 seconds gives me 100 round kicks in 30 seconds. It makes sure that I throw the kick fast and develop the fast twitch muscles, the speed muscles for the kick. Now pull the knee into the chest, and maybe move it down since the side kick has a bit more motion to 100 beats per minute, and throw the side kick at 100 beats per minute. Do the hook kick maybe at 60 or 70 beats per minute, so that you can still do a full range of motion, but develop that speed. Thank you very much for watching my bar drill tutorial. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And please check out the other videos on my YouTube channel.